the massive blockchain breakthrough with the first live TK Snarks rollout for scaling. Glad you're tuning in for me today. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of what's new in the Ethereum space. I've got a bunch of very interesting articles I want to share with you. My name is Kieran. I create DeFi and crypto videos to make sure that you are ready for the next bull run. And yeah, if you enjoy videos like that, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button, it helps me out and helps me create further videos like this. With that said, let's jump right into the content. There has been a decentralized exchange platform called Diversify managed to process 9,000 transactions per second and they managed to do that on their decks by using Starkware's TK Stark technology. Diversify is the first self-custodial exchange to implement the Stark Wares Zero Knowledge Batching Technology on the mainnet. ZK Stark stands for Zero Knowledge Proofs and it's a cryptographic technique that is in a nutshell being able to prove something without actually knowing what's in it. The ZK Stark technology is best known for its implementation in Zcash cryptocurrency. Even though it's best known for its privacy enhancing techniques, it's actually a very convenient way to bundle up transactions, package them and send them to another account like with a bridge. And this speeds up the network tremendously. This is one of the easiest explanations that I've found to explain how TK Stark's technology works. So instead of herding a lot of separate transactions around, you can roll them up into a convenient little bowl because you rolled them up using a suitable zero knowledge proof technique, the contents of the bowl can still be reliably proven without anyone knowing what all the individual transactions are. This layer two scaling solution has found many implementations. Starkware's ZK rollup could demonstrate how it actually is possible to um, use for the Reddit community points without bloating the whole Ethereum network. So Starkware made a test with their zero knowledge uh, Stark technology with 1.3 million Reddit account. And Reddit implemented the community points with bricks for the Fortnite subreddit and moons for the cryptocurrency subreddit. They wanted to find out how the Ethereum network would behave if 1.3 million accounts would interact with the Ethereum blockchain and if it would actually cause some congestions. The results of the test were actually pretty incredible. Thanks to using the ZK Starts layer two scaling technology, only 600 gas was used over 12 hour period and only using 2.5% of the Ethereum bandwidth. Now, if they hadn't used this layer two scaling technology, they would have used 100% of the Ethereum bandwidth and it would have taken 4.5 days instead of the 12 hours that it took using the CK Stark technology. Not only are the gas costs super low, the transactions are also very fast. Loopring, a zero knowledge rollup exchange protocol, reached a very important milestone of 1 million transactions since its inception. And the incredible thing is that they only paid 50 ETH for all of these transactions. And if you take a price of $200 per ETH, that would mean each transaction had an average of one cent, which is actually incredibly low at the moment for um, Ethereum transactions. Furthermore, the Matic mainnet network launched the Binance IEO project Matic is now live on the mainnet and it's got the first version of the Ethereum scaling solution, leveraging Plasma sidechains and proof of stake network. This launch will allow developers to um, migrate their dApps onto the Matic network if they want to do that. I think the wide range of layer two scaling solutions is actually um, fantastic and it's very healthy growth. Being able to scale the Ethereum network and allow for a fast transaction per second means that more people will be able to use decentralized applications, the network doesn't get clogged up and the fees are gonna go down drastically. This layer two scaling solution is part of a trio of trends, which actually is very bullish for the Ethereum project. These three key Ethereum bull trends are the Ethereum layer to scaling solution, which um, migrates this transaction layer to a second secure layer. It also increases the transaction per second and decreases the cost for each 
transaction. And then number two is the implementation of Ethereum 2.0 with the first part of the upgrade being the beacon chain phase zero, which should hopefully happen in the next few months. And this will introduce proof of stake uh, into the Ethereum economics. This will decrease the inflation for Ethereum and it will also increase the demand for Ethereum because long-term holders want to earn some um, rewards on their investments and they will be incentivized to lock up their Ethereum for a longer period of time, earning between five and 15% return on investment per year. Then the last solution of this uh, freaky Ethereum bull trend is the Ethereum Improvement Proposal EIP 1559. I have made a video explaining in detail what the EIP 1559 does and why it's so important for the Ethereum ecosystem. First of all, it will burn ETH for every transaction, which decreases the amount of ETH available. And second of all, it will make sure that the Ethereum transaction costs goes down dramatically, especially during peak times when there's a lot of transactions on the network. Tornado Cash integrates Chainlink Gas Price Oracle live on the mainnet. And this is very important especially if you're concerned about privacy. At the moment, Tornado Cash gets its gas price from four different places. It gets it from ETH Gas Station, Gas Oracle, ETH Chain, and POA's gas price. The problem is that these four websites use Cloudflare. And in order to be completely anonymous when using a Tornado Cash, you might want to use a software called Tor that makes sure that you're private. And the problem is Cloudflare doesn't allow any connections from Tor. So if you connect to the Tornado Cash website using Tor, you won't be able to get the gas price feeds from these four options. And that's where the Chainlink gas price oracle comes into play. And if Tornado Cash doesn't manage to get these four prices from the four other ones, it will revert back to the Chainlink gas oracle price to make sure that you still being able to send anonymous transactions using Tornado Cash and also using uh, anonymous software such as the Tor browser. Ethereum decentralization is super important. Bitfly shared a beautiful visualization of all authentic connections on his beacon node using the Tor Pass Prize Labs um, testnet. I'll link that down below if you want to check it out in peace. With the new Ethereum 2.0 Serenity upgrade, proof of stake comes to the Ethereum blockchain. And with that, many people want to become validators. However, with the current solution installing um, for different validator clients, it's actually rather complicated. You have to understand how to use a terminal. You have to be able to understand how to troubleshoot some problems. It's, it's not very straightforward. So the onboarding for validators, is just not very user-friendly. And a Reddit user called Oxygen Jacket um, proposed a small um, user interface design, which I think is very good. And I believe it's very important that a team implements such a user design to make the whole process of becoming a validator on Ethereum 2.0 blockchain um, as streamlined as possible. With that being said, there's another user called Hey Hey Hey, who also provided a wireframe a solution based on the Argent mobile application. The goal of his design is for an ETH2 staking solution on top of Argent mobile app that is fast and simple to use so that users with less time, knowledge or skills can join from the beginning. The main problem with staking is that it's for technical users it requires a large amount of ether, around 8,000 US dollars of ether at the current price since you have to buy 32 ETH to be able to become a validator on Ethereum 2.0 blockchain. And the goals for his app is to create a prototype to show an ETH to staking interface, make it easy and beautiful to use and users should be able to stake and unstake with only a few clicks. The user hey 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 went through a lot of processes to make sure that this um, concept is very detailed. He took into consideration the consensus survey, which I covered in one of my last videos. And there he states 97% of respondents with a wide range of technical know-how are interested in staking. However, 
the three major barriers to entry are security, retrievability, and simplicity. Security, making sure that your 32 ETH actually end up on the uh, deposit validator contract, retrievability, meaning that you can also remove your ETH that you have staked and simplicity, actually understanding how to stake your Ethereum with little to no knowledge. And I think this is very important because you want as many smaller validators as possible instead of just a few with a massive amount of ETH. I will link the complete article because it goes in depth with many different tests, usability tests, user flows, uh, sketches on how this staking user face uh, should look like with usability testing to make sure that the user interface is easy to understand. Now the last article I'd like to share with you is by Open Zeppelin, which is an audit company. This article is actually very interesting because they show how you can create an ESC20 token using Remix without needing to code. You don't have to program any solidity. I think this is very interesting because the more people that can implement their ideas and create smart contracts without the technical barriers, then the more decentralized applications get developed. And to make sure that things are secure, these people can then also send their smart contracts to be audited by companies such as Open Zeppelin or other uh, audit companies. And this tutorial uses uh, ESC20 preset contract in Open Zeppelin contracts version 3x to create an ESC20 using Remix without having to write any solidity code. So that was today's video. I hope you found it valuable. If you like this type of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button as I'm bringing out weekly videos to make sure that you're ready for the next bull run. With that being said, I wish you a fantastic week and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.